so today we're going to make our New Year's Eve glasses. So one of the big things about New Year's is decoration and you can go onto Etsy and find glasses about this size um, with glitter detail on it. Now you can pay five dollars if you like if you don't want to do it yourself but I'm going to show you the steps to actually doing this yourself. So this glass um, this one actually came from Ikea and it was uh, $1.50 um, but you can also go to the Dollar Tree and get champagne glasses if you want to do that um, I'll put a link below to where I purchased this at Ikea um, you can't purchase glasses from Ikea online but you can go to their website and view it and find the closest Ikea to you so for this, we will need a couple of things. I like to use Mod Podge. And I purchased this at Michael's. I'll put a link for where you can purchase this online. You also need your selected glitter. Now there's a bunch of different types of glitter. Um, I'm going to be using the Martha Stewart uh, glitter. It's a finer glitter. Um, you can use uh, bigger chunks. Uh, they're usually considered uh, called glass glitter. Uh, those sometimes are a little hard when you're you know picking up your glasses or you're using them um, but they do offer a very good uh, decoration. So if you're doing anything else for your decorations for your New Year's party I would suggest you could use that um, that isn't stemware. Then you're gonna need just simple brushes Again, there's no specific size. Um, this larger brush is the brush that I'm actually going to use uh, to apply the Mod Podge only because it has a larger surface, which means I can do it quicker. Um, but that's actually up to you. These were in a set that I picked up, again, from Michaels. Very cheap. I believe it was, hmm, I'd like to say it was about $3.99. Um, but again, it comes with a lot more brushes. It was about a set of maybe about 20 in a bag. For something like this, you don't need anything expensive. Um, why buy expensive brushes when you're just going to put glue on them? And lastly, our last product is actually the Martha Stewart Gloss Enamel. This is going to finish our project out. And a fair warning, do not spray this in the house. It stinks. Don't want it around children don't want around animals. Once you've completed all your glasses, you're going to let your glasses sit for about 10 minutes and then take them outside and just spray this over. It's kind of like a sealant. It will leave everything in place and help eliminate glitter getting from everywhere. I'm not saying it's 100%, but it will help eliminate. But once a couple of drinks are going, you're not going to notice that there's glitter. Uh, and it's not an abundance of glitter falling off of it. I just wanted to forewarn you that that does happen a little bit. Okay, so to start, I am using, um, as you can see, this is a, a wood um, little tray. I do my arts and crafts on it all the time. I actually like to use a glass... Um, kind of put it like a glass round on it because glass is easier to clean glitter off it's easier just to do anything I want on it. I could put in any surface I personally while crafting like to add glue directly onto the glass it's easier for me to work with and I don't feel like I have to keep squeezing so we're gonna put the glue right there in the corner you're gonna take your wider brush or whatever you decide that you're gonna use for your glue. It is very important that you keep this brush just for glue. You're not gonna dip this in glitter and then put glitter on. No, we just want to keep this for the glue. Okay. So, I personally, when I've made these before, I like doing the stem and the bottom. Sometimes I've had people ask if they can have it, you know, halfway up and then down all the way down to the stem that's fine you just want to remember that you want people to drink out of this and if you have it any further up let's say you know up to the rim then when people take a sip they're going to be getting glitter in their mouth and the glitter they're going to be touching it so you want it to be somewhere that's pretty and as an accent but not overwhelming and not making the glass actually unusable so I always like to start at the bottom so we're just going to take our glue 
and spread it down. Don't worry about doing it too fast or too slow. This is your first layer of glue. Don't worry about putting too little or too much. Again, it's your first layer. So you'll be able to add multiple layers onto this glue. Okay. You want the glue kind of a sticky consistency when you put on your um, glitter anyway. So it works out perfectly. Now, I also like to do the little rim down here just for a finished look. Again, that's up to you. Um, you don't have to. Uh, but I, I would suggest it. Especially if this is going to be a glass that you're going to do any kind of other detailing uh, that you may want to have people take home as favors, which is always a good idea. So now we're going to just put it on here. Now most stemware, most stemware has a little ball, as you can see right here. And that's where it connects the stem to the actual cup portion. You're going to want to get all the way onto that ball. And then for our project's sake, that's where we're going to stop. I suggest if you're going to go any further up that you use tape to designate the area so you don't go over that because you want a nice, clean, finished look. So if you just kind of eyeball it, it won't be, it won't work out too well. So that was our first layer of glue. We're going to do that one more time and make sure we really cover every part of the glass. Make sure it's as smooth as possible, going over it, just cleaning out any globs. You don't necessarily want any globs of glue because then when you put your um, glitter on, it will be, you know, sticky and it'll, it'll, it won't look as nice because uh, it's globby. So you'll get patches of where it's thicker than others. Okay. So we've gone over our stem again. Just do that. There's no rhyme or reason for what I choose to do or how I put things on. Again, this is just our base. So when you're done, you should have a nicely covered stem and base to your project. Again, if you choose to bring the glue up, I would stop halfway, allowing people enough room to drink. Okay, so halfway, if you're gonna go up onto the glass. So now, we're gonna go ahead with our glitter. Again, I am using um, Martha Stewart, her line of glitter. This is called Sterling, so it's supposed to look, you know, like Sterling silver, silver. Um, for our art basis, let's just say that our party is a black and white with silver accents. Um, I have really cute black and white um, striped uh, straws that I will show you with this finished product that you can do and set out on the bar and how cute that actually can look all together. So applying is easy. Again, best thing about the Martha Stewart line um, as far as the glitter is concerned, if you look it has very small holes and these holes really allow you to get it on. Trust me, you're just going to sprinkle. And then I'll show you how to just, because we're on the glass surface, pile it back up. You're going to put it back in. It looks like you're wasting a lot, but you're going to put every single little glitter that comes back off back in your thing. And you'll notice that, you know, this lasts for a very long time. I've had it now for two years. So here we go. You're just going to sprinkle it on. Again, remember where you, where you actually put the glue. Start with the base because that was the oldest place that you put the glue, okay? So that will be ready before anything else. And now we're going to sprinkle onto the shaft of the glass, the stem, the actual stem, okay? And now you're going to turn it around. Don't worry about getting glitter on the glass. That will come off. Another important factor is that if you did wash your glass beforehand, you want to make sure that your glass is completely dried. OK. 
Okay. All right. So we're gonna let that set for a second and let's say we're gonna let it set for about five minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, so the five minutes has passed and um, what I did was I cleaned up all the glitter again because it's a glass top it makes it so much easier to actually clean it up. Just push it, put a piece of paper underneath and then once you have that paper you fold it up and you put it back into your container. Okay. So I suggest taking any of your other brushes that you have and just cleaning up, just taking some of that glitter that's around the stem or wherever you put it, just, you know, just to clean it up. Make sure you tap around to try to get any of that loose glitter off. Now this is your chance to actually look at your finished product, see if there's any places that are empty or anything that you're looking at that you want to you know fix like let's just say any any bald spots within your creation it actually looks pretty good so now what we're going to do is we're going to use our um our gloss enamel again you can get any kind of finishing spray um the main point of the finishing spray is that you allow it to set it seals over the glitter and that's what stops it from getting everywhere again if anyone says that it's a hundred percent proof that it's not gonna glitter is not gonna go uh, everywhere or you know come off a little bit that's not reality it's gonna come off a little bit but not to the point where you're gonna have to clean it up you know you may have a couple sparkles on your hand after holding it but nothing not serious um, so like I said, you're gonna go outside, spray this all around your whole thing, and you're gonna have that set for 24 hours. So that's what we're gonna do now, and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is our finished product that I made the other day. And like I told you, we have these cute little black and white straws that we're going to place inside. And so um, when our friends arrive, we're going to have all of these set up on the bar. And um, I may add a cute little flag or something, but you know, this project is just so simple to do and easy and can be used for anything, baby showers, um, birthday parties, um, the straws we actually got off of Etsy, and I'll put a link down on um, where this was, where we got this. And honestly, that's it. That's all you need. So this project takes a total of, for creation, will take a total of about 15 minutes. Um, after spray, it takes 24 hours to sit so that it will um, harden the spray, the enamel spray on the outside. And after that, you're done. I suggest making them uh, probably about three days before your event. Once it's done, it's done. You're not going to have to reapply anything. Quick, simple, easy party. And like I said, give it as a gift. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps.